But welcome everybody to EA Play. I'm Andrea Renee. So this year, EA wanted to change things up. And I think this year is going to be a lot of fun, you guys. I hope you're ready. This year was trash. I mean, you did have a more in-depth look into Battlefield 5. You will be able to dive and smash through windows to surprise your enemies. Although I really don't agree with the direction they're taking the series. After launch, you'll get something I know a lot of you have been asking for. Mm-hmm. It's... Royale. <laughs> no loot boxes. No premium pass. <laughs> yeah, there are loot boxes. What's going on, Vince? How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. I love this stuff. I love seeing new games. I mean, someone's super excited about that man on PC. So, we launched our game in November of last year, and clearly we didn't get it quite right. But right now, with a six! And although things may improve, it's unclear if the game will ever recover. We've got lots to do. I actually don't know what amazes me more. The fact that EA messed up Battlefront twice in a row. Or the fact that they think they can fix every single problem by just adding more content into the game. More credits available in three hours. We're sorry. You were enjoying arcade mode too much. So we have to stop giving you prizes. EA Games. Challenge everything. Including your wallet. EA Sports. FIFA 19. You know... The FIFA community. Is that, is that a new Command and Conquer game? Now rivals will be coming to iOS and Android devices. Never mind. Young Kev, how has it been? You know your success and your path, you know, to where you're at today. It's. Uh, I've always been a competitor. Um, when I was in high school, I was playing baseball. I hurt my arm. We're out. Have a good day. Anthem was definitely EA's trump card for this year. The game looks like it has this weird cross between Mass Effect and Destiny. Being made by Bioware, hopefully it'll have memorable characters much like the Mass Effect series. Not that one. Not that one. I'm kind of worried with how vast everything looks. A lot of the environment could feel static or samey after a while. But, eh, I'll probably give it a try. But would it be fun, you guys, if I killed you all the secrets at once, right? What? Give him, give him a break. He needs to just enjoy the show. Exclusive. Yeah, this game looks alright. I mean, oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> gamers, gamers, gamers. Gaming. Gaming, gaming, gaming. And what unifies us is our shared love of gaming. Ori 2 finally had some gameplay and it looks amazing. This is how you do a 2.5D game. Uh, Shadows Die Twice also had a reveal. A lot of people were thinking it'd be Bloodborne 2. I can definitely see the influence. This looks a lot like a Souls title. It'll be interesting to see a game with a lot more Asian influence. Seeming Dark Souls mainly at Western. Please welcome, from Bethesda Game Studios, Todd Howard. How's everybody doing? Remove the creation club. There was some gameplay for the new Life is Strange. I don't really enjoy this series, mainly because of the, uh, questionable writing. Now, let's talk business. Business. But there seems to be a fresh take on it, and it's totally free, so... Eh. Okay. Now one game I'm really looking forward to is the new Crackdown. I like how each installment seems to get more and more ridiculous, slowly turning itself into a Saints Row type game. But at the same time, it's scary making that comparison because I don't want this game to end up like Saints Row 4. Also, Microsoft, if I have to pay for the Terry Crews DLC, I'm actually going to sue you. N not even lying. <laughs> oh boy, this one's got a lot of potential. The thing is, I love Disney, but translating a Disney experience into a video game, you're talking about movie tie-in games. Hopefully Kingdom Hearts 3 will be that perfect experience that encapsulates being in a Disney movie. Light or darkness? I know I want to know. Well, good for you, but guess what? I won't let her fall to darkness. <sighs> Wrong. You got hella- You got Sea of Thieves trying again to trick people that their game isn't unfinished. A Forza Horizon 4. Set in beautiful, historic Britain. 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 Forza Horizon 4 features dynamic Britain. The dunes nearby. As you can see, Horizon 4 is still full of action packed Britain. The Division 2 got announced, wow. and for some reason, they kept the game actors from the first game's trailer. Hey, you guys should really check this out. Level up. Ah, here's the door. Thank you, Megan. I. 
I had no idea where the door was. Great idea. Let's just die. Oh my god. Is this? Is this Skate 4? <laughs> Cuphead's coming back with some fresh DLC. Nice to see they also made the Cuphead community into an actual boss in the game. Oh baby, we got some Dying Light 2. I love the original game. The, the amount of hours I sunk into it for my dumbass commentary videos back in like 2015. It's really worrying. They've focused a lot more on your choices actually having weight now. And they're probably going to improve the story. Probably. I mean, what, 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 was, what was the name of the guy from the first game? Voss 2 or something? Oh, no. This is Voss! Voss! Who the fuck is it going to be? Them! Or me! You just me! shut the fuck up! Microsoft finally announced the new Gears of War title. The Locust have developed a weapon to turn everyone into those fucking annoying pop vinyls. If you didn't think that was an actual game, don't worry, because they, they bought our mobile game as well. Something else to mention, The Witcher 4 was looking pretty great. In the game, you actually play as one of the vampires for The Witcher 3. Is it 2077 yet? No. Then fuck off. The only reason you should even watch E3 anymore is for the Devolver press conferences. It's such a glorious shit show of self-awareness, and it really just shows how fucked we are as a species. Devolver Digital's newest bleeding edge technology innovation. Loot boxes. <laughs> <laughs> they make some pretty good games as well. And it, again, it, it just works. Will you please welcome my very good friend, Mr. Todd Howard. The one question I'm wondering about Fallout 76, how is the guy in the trailer this shit at shooting people? So we're back to announce Doom Eternal. Where's the gameplay, you degenerate? Oh my god. Oh my god, new Elder Scrolls! New Elder Scrolls game! Oh my god! Believe me when I say you have to see this running on an iPhone 10. This gigantic screen does not do it justice. Still, Sora, that doesn't mean you should change. Accept the power you give. What the fuck? They're not gonna open with one of them cringy dance sequences, are they? <laughs> God damn it. Beyond Good and Evil 2 back with another what the fuck trailer, but until they show actual gameplay, I'm definitely not holding my breath. Oh. What what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Somehow Mario and Rabbids wasn't a complete financial failure, and they're now dragging Donkey Kong into it. As you write your odyssey across the mountains and the seas, remember, I never asked for this. I don't care. Finally, something I care about, The Last of Us 2. The gameplay looks so seamless, I was actually waiting for the in-game engine to pop up. That part where Ellie gets cornered in the store, healing her wounds, genuinely gave me goosebumps. If this is actual gameplay and only semi-scripted, I'm gonna be blown away. I don't want this to be a repeat of the clearly pre-rendered Battlefield 5 trailer. Oh my god, another Kingdom Hearts trailer? Really? One to look out for is the Resi 2 remake. Now this one's going back to the traditional over-the-shoulder view. I'm wondering if it will be able to hold a candle to Resi 7. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. Hideo has been teasing Death Stranding for a while now. We've been shown trailer after trailer and no one really knows what's going on. Well finally guys, we got some gameplay. And what does it explain? Absolutely fucking nothing. Spider-Man 7 Wrath of the Pizza Delivery minigame is shaping up to be pretty good. Hopefully it'll have a fluid combat system that actually needs intelligence to master. Without being a single button masher, much like the Batman Arkham games. I also like the inclusion of Black White Man, the supervillain who can't be racist. Just free. What mint. 
then don't. Bye. I can't wait to drop off the battle bus and meet some of you on the battlefield in Fortnite. <laughs> Catch your battle Pokemon on one system with a friend. You can even transfer a Pokemon into the game from Pokemon Go. No, Reggie, Reggie, what are you doing? You're gonna revive the Pokemon Go YouTube scene. Sora no Sakurai Masahiro desu. The roster for Smash Brothers is even bigger this time. You got Sonic, the Inklings, uh, Wii Fit Trainer, Connor from Detroit. Uh, that's a good one. Luca Rio, Bayonetta, uh, PewDiePie as well. That, that was quite a risky one. Yeah, I can't really think of any other characters they could add to. <laughs> oh, 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 my fire. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Shaw, thanks for joining me on stage today, Patrick. Yeah, thanks for having me here.